now you've both starred in huge blockbuster franchises. Now, Sarah, when your when your movies hit number one at the box office, what kind of perks would come along your way with that? Because I feel like you were having box office number ones at the height of box office number ones. It was, that was the big money days. Well, I'd heard all these stories, like when Buffy was on and it was the same time as like Friends and Will and Grace. And I think Friends, they all got um, Porsches and yeah. Will and Grace, they got, or maybe Rover's one of them. And what? like, I always heard these stories, Bodyguard, they got these like Maseratis or I, maybe, maybe, I don't remember what they were. And so I was like, okay, this is so when, when uh, Scooby-Doo opened, we saw this like car pull up and, and I'm like looking out the window and I was like, there's no bow on it, but like maybe, and, <laughs> yeah. right? And this person walks out and they're holding like this gigantic, like oversized basket and they bring it to the door and we're trying to like act all cool. Like, and, and there's two of us in the movie. There's just one basket. And so that was a little suspect from the get go. And then we, they, we, they leave and we like, and it was a, a very large uh, stuffed Scooby-Doo and Scooby Snacks. Wow. So we really felt like we hit the That's, jackpot. Was, yeah. it, was it good candy? No. No, it was no? Scooby Snacks, yeah, literally, for the dogs. What? Yeah, for no, the, actually, for the yeah. dogs. For the do like dog, dog, dog treats. treats. Dog treats. Yeah, yeah. That Did you is try awful. one? Did you try one? Well, I mean, they might have been nice. <laughs>